Hello everyone, this is Tweetman here. Welcome back to another Tweetman Plays. I'm your host, Tweetman, and today we're going to be doing something a little different now. Since we no longer have to deal with the ending of the game anymore, I think we're going to do something a little fun. And I thought today, since I have this stuff in my inventory from when we were over at Huber's Comics, the Silver Shroud stuff, I figured, why don't we go ahead and do that story arc right there? But before we do all that, I really want to go pick up uh, one of the companions from Good Neighbor, which I have totally forgotten about, and that's just going to be our friend Hancock, who is the current, the current mayor of Good Neighbor. So let's get started. Uh, let's see here. Who do I want to take for the first part of this stuff? Um, well, Ada? Nah. What a surprisingly pleasant day. Perhaps it will lift our spirits. Hey, now you two. Stop staring at you like that. So, it appears the Commonwealth is about to enter a new era of peace thanks to you. Oh yeah, this is the other part of the good, the good ending here. A new era of peace? What do you mean? The constant paranoia of living in the Institute's shadow vanished the moment you pressed the detonation button. The kidnappings, the fear, and the threat of their technology running amok. All gone thanks to you. That peace cost a lot of innocent people their lives. The price of war is steep. It takes its toll on both sides of the battlefield. But we have to be willing to accept those losses, if it means winning the good fight. Do you have any idea what's happened here? What you've done will be felt for years to come. It's destined to become a part of history. A tale of a lone soldier who made this land a better place. A place where people no longer have to live in fear, but instead, live in peace. And even though you elected to carry out the mission with the Minutemen at your side, the end result is the same. The Commonwealth is safe, because you chose to take a leap of faith and make a difference. Ad Victorium. Strong boy. Strong boy to kill something. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? How are we so doing good. on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Not right now, Nick. Hey there. Want me back on deck, huh? I got to admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Anything new? I'd prefer to leave the latest gossip and fashion tips for the others. Tom's quiz on how to find your ideal mate, I especially recommend. Not right now. Well, if you change your mind. Sometimes strong not understand human. Mm, sometimes I don't need a strong. Where are the other two? Functions are operating at full capacity. Okay, where is it's right up there? What I wouldn't give oh, a good stiff drink. There's Kate. I think you should stay on. Rather point. be off murdering a pint. This'll do. Right on target. Hi. Ready to head back out? That depends. How are you feeling? I dunno. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show in the road? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. I'm taking her. She's she's always got a fun attitude. Come on, pet. So much walking. Want to do more fighting? I am actually going to go back to Sanctuary real Someday, quick. Someday, super mutants kill everything. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. Would you like me to go with you? I was trying to say that's one reason I really don't care for Strong that much because he just constantly never stops talking. Are you humming in my ear, honey child? <laughs> I might try a mod later I found on the Bethesda's mod system where someone actually converted the wooden bridge of Sanctuary to a concrete one. It looks kind of like a London bridge. Like now that the Institute is gone, we can finally start to work on making the Commonwealth a better place for our kids. Mm-hmm. Alright, first off, I'm going to grab this for her. And just for the fun of it.
Kate, 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 come back here. Hey, need something? Have any goodies for me? Mm-hmm, I got some goodies for you, all right. You take one of those. Oops, wrong one. And you take this. And you equip the axe, because you like getting up in range. There we go. I think she looks like good, good, looks good that way. Mm, nice. Turn around, girl. There you go. Anyway, uh, let's go up to good neighbor. Alright, now if I remember correctly, to get Hancock, you don't need to go talk to him directly, which we already have earlier. Yeah, go here, here first. Hey, you. Looking for work? Depends on the work. You'll never find a more fair and honest job. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm in. That's what I like to hear. So let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work? Just tell me what I need to do. It's a simple job, really. You are going to be doing some digging. What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will ya? Mm, can you dig it? Sorry, bad joke, I'm sorry. get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Can't you just hear something? It's crawling with fire alerts. Fail. Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new girl. Whatever you find, don't forget to share. What is going on in my tunnel? Looks like we are having crab for dinner tonight. You'd eat my lurk? Ugh, no. <laughs> Disgusting. Tough, but somehow slimy at the same time. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Just tell me where to go and who to talk to. I knew I liked you. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. Hmm, so I'll meet you on Diamond City then. There you are. 
<laughs> was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. So, this is all for a good cause. Don't get me wrong. The caps are my primary motivation. If I get to take them from a bigot, that's just icing. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms, <laughs> and it smells the pot. This isn't a maximum security prison, and it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Rush. Rush can leave the army here this time. Because hopefully I can do this without getting in too much trouble. Yeah? I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Man's yeah, gotta eat. Are you going in? What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Ah, there we go. That explosion came from the old CIT ruins. I mean, if you believe the stories or the history, could the Institute really have been destroyed? It was. Why is it so hard to believe? The Minutemen are in town. You know, one of these days, I might sign up myself. Oh, good to hear. Mel here. Can I help you? I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. No, not that kind of thing. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Need my help? I am getting you out of here. If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated. But I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Hold on. Last few times I've done this, this is this kind of The legend herself. What did give it to the Institute? You're like my hero or something. I don't know. Thanks. Hey. Yeah? Over here. I'm on it, Captain. Wait there. Leaving me behind. It's your funeral.
Officer. There she is. The woman of the hour. So, let's go hack this thing. That works. Hey. Sure, sure. Just keep your Come on. Well, oh, he did his job. That's one way to do it. Another way is just like I was trying to do that, trying to get the key from the cell block, from the, from the desk, or you lock yourself, but you gotta watch out for being spotted. But this one worked even better. Thanks for getting me out. Yes. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yeah, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. I don't really do the whole gift thing. <laughs> that would require having friends or family. God, that woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? Well, damn. That's a big score. Be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. All right, I'm gonna go get my power on the back, and I will meet y'all back at Bobby's. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. Okay, so, uh... How is a robot going to help us? She has unique capabilities. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, do your thing. So, what's the deal with the new girl? 
Oh, I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. She takes orders and she's useful in a fight. What more can I want? She seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Maybe we don't burn bridges this time. Yeah. and everything. I forgot about that little feature of nuclear physicist. I forgot if you run out of grenades, it, it judges your current core. Blows it. We need Sonya here. Got it. Sonya, blast time. Looks like a subway tunnel. Then we're on the right track. Ah, I see what you did there. What? Such a no. problem. Just keep heading southwest. We need to find a place to blast out of these. I hear them moving around behind me and just think, oh, I got the ghouls coming at me. Alright, so I guess we're pretty clear.
Sonia over here. Gotcha. Sonia. Yeah, that's me. And... Hmm. I'm not sure where we'll find that wall over there, guys. I think this way needs to go there. Have to let me play with it later. Those guys were tough, so I guess whoever killed them had to be even tougher, right? And there's uh I don't even know if that's true or There we go. Nice. See, now you're just showing off. Mm-hmm. Huge effects. We're getting really close. There's a brewery near our strong mission. This has to be the basement of that brewery. Brewery, you say? Mel, no. Just kidding. Jeez. So here's something that happened in the Commonwealth that I have overheard from two people. I do not believe we're drunk. There was that old, uh, asylum parsons, right? And it was creepy. And everyone knew to, uh, stay away from it. Well, I guess. Raiders attacked the Oh no, 
We need to get through here, Mel. No problem. Come on, Sonia. Guys, done. What's in here? Eh. So, uh, there are some rumors out there. It's kind of low. That I don't hurt. You know the one about the railroad? The group that, I, that actually helps. They help kids who want to escape the institute? Yeah? Well, uh, maybe it's not just a rumor. Hmm. Onward. If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubts, the strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. Doubts? It just doesn't seem like we're under Diamond City, does it? I don't think Bobby's telling us everything about this job. Wait, I need to do something first. No worries. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, ever? The Institute, it's, uh, well, it's gone. Blown up, like, uh, totally Bobby, destroyed. getting closer. The Minutemen, they did it. Of all the ways to make caps, why this? It may be more personal than I let on. Let's just say I have beef with the mayor. Thinks he can keep Bobby no-nos on the sidelines. But, uh, forget all about that. We have a job to do. Bobby. Getting closer. right? I heard that... People were saying that, um... That the Vault Dweller was involved. You can count on me. I'm counting on you to make sure nothing... Not getting us lost down here would be nice, too. Now we can all... Sleep better. You know? Because, uh... Well, oh, oh, oh. still ready to get into the strong room. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. I'm ready. You got it. Let's do this. Ready, Sonia? Bobby. Keep moving. The Diamond City Strong Room is to the southwest. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we
we're right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the boss? Well, we can find out the answer. That's right. Let's just get up there. If I'm wrong, oh well, we find another way. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya, and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well, then make it so. He won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right, then. Everybody clear out. Sonya? Prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go. That didn't sound good. Okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Oh, no, 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 Sonya! Pull yourself together, Mel. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. But... You can make another robot with the haul we get from the strong room. Keep your head in the game. This doesn't seem that much of a strong room, does it? What does this have to do with Hancock? Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. I know this isn't what you expected. But there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out. And all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. Well, shit. You're right. I'm not one to give up. But I know when I'm outmatched. Let's go. Thank God. We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road Bobby. and off me arse. But that was the last... You get over it. Now let's split before the girl changes her mind. What a waste of time. You made the... Hey there. You made the right move. Sorry to cause you trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. <laughs> Another reason to come do this, the Ash Maker. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. All right, and with that, we are going to get out of here and grab a chit chat with Hancock. All right, we're 
and good neighbor now. For this part, we're going to park the armor here. I uh, said we're going to park the armor here. Thank you. Never forget your fusion cores. So, the big kaboom hits old CIT. I hope the stories are true and the Institute got what was coming to them. Who's the redhead? She's got that stab-your-eye-with-a-screwdriver look. Just like my old lady. I think he's talking about you, Kate. Hancock, my man. Mayor Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy. Here, for protecting my stash. Why is decision turning on Bobby like that? Didn't exactly have a choice, now did I? That's what's great about being the mayor. You're always the safe bet. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri-corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor whether he's in residence or not. I've walked out of here plenty of times. Keeps me honest. Can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. If you're heading out, why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Let me just have a little chat with my community first. Give them the news. After you. Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush. Everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always gonna be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I... We got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the common? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good, Good neighbor. neighbor! Of, of the, the people! people. For, for, the people. for the people! And don't let no one forget it. Sure. I love hearing that go Great. Don't go off. That big heartbreaker number starts and suddenly you're a damn phone. Hey, Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? You can get your compassion from the news. Let's do it. Done. I'll tell you what, Hancock. If I ever decide to go ghoul, you're the first one I'm looking up. I'll be counting the days. <laughs> we'll send her back to the truck stop for the time being. And 
with that, we'll call this episode done, folks. Now that I got Hancock with me, we can go down here to the Memory Den and later on do the Silver Shroud quest. So until next time, this is Between Man. Y'all have a great day now, and be careful out there.